Hello. Today, we're going to, with our collage of the week, we're going to be looking at another older piece. This one was from 2004, as you'll not, you won't be able to see the signature down there, but as you can see how I've, I usually write the title on the back and the, and the, the date. And this one is a rather odd shaped piece. And as again, as some of the, some people like to start off with a specific um, shape black cat blank canvas because one thing it makes it very much much easier for them to make prints of these of things and frame them. Um, I and especially when I first started didn't think about that. Uh, didn't really think about those things. That's why you have sometimes I have some pieces like about like that size and so forth. One I I literally did on a post-it note um so this one's again one of those pieces that's not following those rules partly because of what i had as the background is i had this uh this picture of a lightning um struck scene and just flipped it around that uh, sideways just to make it look more stranger and dynamic so you do have the oddity of like the cross coming out the side of the sky but the way that these lightning bolts go go horizontally as opposed to vert vertically gives it uh, much more of a sense of it, it changes the dynamic of the picture basically it's that you expect like you, you know that's lightning it's going sideways that could be something different, could still be uh, lining, it just makes it a bit more surreal and weird as well. So, this, this piece is called These Dangerous Games. So, here you have somebody playing a game, a tennis player, and for and um, adding more to the game part of it, at the bottom, this radioactive, uh, this radioactive component is uh, right in the middle of a uh, roulette wheel. And you have the guy, uh, the, the man playing the game, wearing a gas mask. So you have, you do have a new whole uh, particular environmental theme to this, and uh, it could be looked at as how we, uh, as humans, do tend to play, play God, and um, how we, uh, how we uh, tend to mess things up. We do roll the dice. Uh, quite a bit with uh, uh, with safe with saf the safety of the species and the world that we live in, and by that I mean for for the some of the animals around us and for us because basically the world would go on without us. Um, it's just when we talk about saving the world, we talk about basically saving it for us, making it live, make it livable for us and those around us. So. Again, this is so. This is one of my overtly political pieces, but with a uh, in a surrealistic style. So, this is one of those ones where I felt from an era, from an era where I felt like I was I was coming up with a lot of my best work. So, so my work that seemed a lot more inspired. So, uh, again, it's a shame. Uh, one thing it is a shame about the size because it, it does make it hard to do things like prints however something like this will go obviously go very well on something like a t-shirt um so you're not really going to expect too much in the way of posters of things like this unless i was to really seriously crop it or accept the black bars on the side but it will it it has gone in i believe if i remember correctly it's gone in my book and uh, i'm planning i'm doing a um a a bigger, uh, more expensive, nicer hard copy book, and this will cert this will certainly go in that because uh, this is also good for being printed and something because uh, you're sometimes even better than the normal. In the UK, here in the UK, we call it A4. I don't know what they call it in America, but so either that with the um, twenty one centimeters by twenty seven centimeters, which is generally A4, or maybe up to twenty nine centimeters, or the um, whatever inches it is that they would be used in America. Um, they would, you know, you, all you would have there is like the space around it. Here, this is actually very good for that because you could have the piece 
and you can have the supporting text to either, to either the left or the right of it. So there are some there are some bonuses to these things being done in these sizes uh, in these slightly more unique sizes and it just looks different as well I'd be framing it won't be really a problem because uh, I'm I don't really do it well I, I don't do exhibitions the last exhibition I took part in was 1999 and that was in a cafe in Coventry and that didn't go anywhere before then there was a um, joint Greenpeace exhibition that I put one of my very first pieces in that was like about 1997 I believe and after that I just gave up I just gave up on the idea um, they just don't seem to work with me especially since also after around that time, the turn of the, especially the turn of the, turn of the millennium, I, I was obviously using the internet a lot more, and the internet is a is a, I can have my ex, all my exhibitions virtually. People don't have and people can see them wherever they are, and uh, I can have these printed on things like T-shirts and stuff. Where as Jalo Biafra from Jalo Biafra from the Dead Kennedys encouraged artists to paint on it, put their artwork on their clothing because it, it forced. People, it forced people to uh, to see your artwork whether they, whether they wanted to or not. So I thought that was I always liked that sentiment. So see what you, uh, see what you think about. It. See if you like this. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Um, you can always um, you can always uh, send artwork to my uh, collage artwork magazine because even if it doesn't go in in uh, the specific. Uh, specific issue or episode since it's uh, a YouTube only affair if, even if it doesn't go on that specific episode it could then just roll over to the next one and I'll let you know as well I always, I'll always um, personally thanks, thank people for sending artwork and um, and so forth and uh, support me on Patreon all the details for all of this are in the description and I will be seeing you soon. Okay, bye-bye.